So check it out. I got this email last night with the header bot in comment section. And I'm like, okay, what is this? What is going on here? What kind of bot is this? Whose comment section is it in? So I click on the email and it says, this is from the comment section of your latest video. And it's got an attached screenshot of my comment section. So I open it up and this is what I see. So somebody left a comment on my video and this bot that's impersonating me responded by saying, send direct message telegram right away. And the username is let's talk pointing emoji at a Cheeto 11 and you can see the guy basically stole my profile picture to make it seem convincing now I, I don't think this has to be said but this isn't me this guy wants you to message him on telegram uh, which telegram is basically like this unregulated unfiltered messaging platform and he would want you to reach out to him on telegram to scam you because if you think it's me and you trust me uh, he would basically exploit that trust to get you to I don't know like send him money maybe or you know crypto scam you or something along those lines now because I am me I am the real Achito. I decided to add this guy on Telegram to see basically what his plan on scamming people would be. So I add at Achito11 on Telegram to basically see what is going on here. And his profile is like completely set up. He's got multiple variations of my profile picture in his profile. Like, look, he's got the 100,000 subscriber profile picture. He's got like the 250k sub profile picture. And he's got the fan art that's on my famous birthdays page. So I reach out to this guy basically with the intention of getting him to prove that he's me, which he obviously can't do. So I DM him, I'm like, hello, and he responds with, you're welcome. He already failed. That's not how you start a conversation. You're welcome is not an introduction, you idiot. Like, I get that this guy probably doesn't speak English, you know, he's probably like one of those scammers from like some different country, but oh my goodness, you're welcome in response to hello. Oh, we're off to a, oh, we're off to a start. Anyways, he says, you're welcome. And then he goes, firstly, I would love to know your name and location and I'm just not even playing along. I'm just like, are you the real Achito? <laughs> and he goes, yeah. I say, prove it. He says, are you one of my subscribers? I say, yeah. He says, all right. He says, I hope you enjoyed and benefited from my videos on YouTube. <laughs> Why does he talk like that? Enjoyed and benefited from my videos. Okay. And I'm still just like, yo, can you prove that you're the real Achito? And he's like, how do you want me to prove it? For how long have you subscribed to my channel? Again, like, what does that have to do with my question? I don't know. So he's asking me, like, how do you want me to prove that you are the real Achito? And I tell him, like, yo, prove that you can edit the channel. And he goes, edit what channel? Scammer, what channel do you think? The Achito YouTube channel. Then he says, I don't have plans of editing the channel for now. Do you have any problem with that? And I said, and show proof that you own the channel and that you are not a scam. And his response to that is, it's going to cost me a lot. And at this point, I'm getting so sick and tired of this guy and his bullshit. So I'm going all in. I'm like, no, it won't, you monkey just send a screenshot and then he sends a screenshot of him watching one of my videos yeah bro that really proves it and he said these is what you need right and after that i was getting sick and tired of it so i sent him a little message we'll say hey listen punk i own the channel i am a cheeto stop scamming people or else i will sue your ass for a million dollars okay do you have a million dollars I don't think so, so stop scamming people! Yeah, I got a little angry, and I feel like rightfully so. This guy's pretending to be me to scam people out of money. And then he goes, no, I don't have a million dollars. Did I look like a scam to you? Yeah, you pretended to be me to try to scam people out of money. That's the scam. That's what it is. That's what it looked like to me. So I said, you're impersonating me. I can sue you for that. He goes, sorry for the impersonation. I said, delete your telegram and stop sending bots to my comment section. Then he says, am going to delete it. I say now. And then he says, but am pleading with you can help me with some money so I can start up my thing for myself. <laughs> Praying emoji. And I say, the audacity. How about this? Like, can we just talk about that for a second? And this guy gets caught red-handed by me, the person who he's trying to impersonate. And in Instead of like having his tail between his legs, begging for me not to sue him, he says, I'm sorry, but can I have some money? Are you out of your mind? Are you smoking meth? Yo, I will be six feet under before I pay you a cent. Jelly Bean will be funny before I pay you a cent. You're not getting anything from me, eh, let alone not getting sued by me. Absolutely insane. Obviously, I bluffed with a million dollars. I was just trying to scare this guy because what he does is like one of the most like low level things you can do for money, which is scamming. 
But still, like, bro, I could sue this guy. So I say, the audacity. How about this? I don't sue you for impersonating me, and you delete everything, including this telegram and the bots. I said, boys, I meant the bots. And he says, donate some money for me. I promise not to impersonate your site again. No, I will file a lawsuit today if you do not delete this account. And he goes, okay. So then I say, delete it now. And then he goes, delete what? Huh? Either he's, like, actually this dumb. Or he's acting dumb to try to get out of the situation. When I say delete your telegram and he goes okay and then I say delete it now and then he goes delete what? I'm talking about your telegram as I just said. Listen I know that I'm like actually big mad during this video but you have to understand it's like dude the, the prospect of somebody losing like a hundred dollars because they thought that they were giving it to me is like really sad and something that I would literally never want to happen because first of all I would never ask individual subscribers for money like that's crazy but second of all if there was an individual subscriber willing to send me money Imagine they get scammed and send it to some guy pretending to be me. Like, that's even worse. Now he says, you refuse to help me, right? So allow me to help myself. Dude, I refuse to help you because you impersonated me to scam people. And then I say, okay, I'm going to file a $1 million impersonation and scam lawsuit right now. And then he says, I am not a scammer, just that we ask people for help, okay. And then I say, by pretending to be me, that is the scam. And then he responds to my million dollar threat by saying, why can you donate some of that money in my life and I promise never to impersonate your site again. And then I say, no, I'm leaving now to the legal department to settle this goodbye. And then he says goodbye. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to sue this guy for a million dollars because A, I don't even know his name or where he lives or anything like that. And it would be a massive headache and it's not worth it. I'd rather just make this video PSA to say like, hey, yeah, just don't do this. Don't fall for this stuff. To me, it seems fairly obvious to not fall for these scam comments, but I am older and smarter when it comes to like, you know, not falling for scams. So I guess, you know, there is some children that could be susceptible to this stuff and if somebody is paying for the bot service to flood my comment section with bots pretending to be me the reason they're spending money on it is because they think they're gonna make that money back by scamming you guys right like you wouldn't put money down on something if you didn't think you were gonna make it back and the first time I messaged this guy when I said hello I could see next to his username it said last online 20 minutes ago so before I even messaged him it seems like he was active on telegram which means like you know it may have been possible he had been talking to somebody else who thought that it was me now I know at the beginning of this video, I only showed one screenshot of that bot in my comment section, but I looked, and there's actually multiple different instances of this bot popping up in my comment section, responding to people's comments. And seeing all those bots, it really got me thinking, right? Like, okay, if this guy really needs money desperately, I'm confused because A, he has enough money to pay for a bot service, B, he sent a screenshot of him watching my video, and in that screenshot, you can see that he's clearly on like an Android phone of some kind, and C, he has the time in his day to try to scam people to begin with. So let's let's look at that, okay? Money to pay for bots, money to pay for a phone, and time in his day to scam people. I don't think he needs that money if he has all that stuff. Like, okay, maybe he needs, like, some money. He could definitely be poor. I'm not denying that, but he's not homeless. He's not, like, literally on the side of the street begging for, like, Chuck E. Cheese tokens and, you know, bubblegum wrappers. So get a job, you bum. Also, I'm not even the first person that this has happened to. Do you guys know who Mudahar is? Some ordinary gamers? Well, I met this guy earlier this year at VidCon. He's a cool guy, and, you know, he's well-liked by the YouTube community. He's got three million subscribers. This happened to him as well. Somebody was impersonating him on Telegram trying to scam his fans out of money. Check this out. He tweeted a story in two parts, and then let's just look at the second part. He literally sends the scammer a selfie and basically says, like, yo, we subpoenaed your information, like, you know, basically delete everything you're doing or else we're coming for your neck, which, I'm gonna be honest, I, I really wish I could do that. Unfortunately, I have to bluff, but, you know, that's pretty sick. One day I'll get to that position where I can basically, like, you know, be like, yo, delete it or else I'm whipping out the big guns. But, you know, that, that's gonna have to be a bit. Now, what can you do to help this go away? First of all, DNI. Do not interact. I know that's like a uh, Twitter acronym, so kind of cringe for me to say it, but here it actually applies. Do not interact with it, okay? Don't even respond to it, because I think the comment algorithm, when you respond to the comment, it might get pushed to the top. I don't know. Just don't even try it. Second of all, I don't know if you can do this, but if you can flag or report a comment, like, do it for this guy, because... Yeah, obviously, it's a scam. But yeah, I think that's about all I can say on this topic. So yeah, with that all being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Comment down water bottle if you made it to the end of the video, and I'll try to heart your comments. Big thanks to all my channel members. As always, you guys rock. And yeah, I mean, tell me if you guys like this Minecraft parkour gameplay. I haven't used it in a bit. But that's all for me. I'll catch you guys later.